With the amount of time we've been spending indoors these days, it's difficult to stay creatively inspired and motivated. I've been trying my best to find new things in my surroundings, things that I often overlook, and use them in a different way than I normally would. Recently, when my wife and I were watching TV, I accidentally changed the color of the lights that we have behind the TV, and that's when I thought, hmm, this could work. So in today's video, I want to highlight the Philips Hue Play Bar lights. Now these lights are, as I said, intended to be used with a TV. You can mount them or place them behind a TV to offer a little soft glow of light. You can change the temperature of the light or you can change the color entirely. So as a caveat to start, these lights do not really work well with video applications. I did try a few times and you can really only shoot in 24 frames per second in order to get anything clear. If you go any higher than that, your shutter speed is going to interfere with the frequency of the lights and you're going to start getting lines all up and down your image. But for photo applications, they actually work really well and suddenly provided a full spectrum RGB light for me to play around with. So Laura and I decided one night to try to take some portraits with these lights. We started by playing around with the different color options that were available. I really gravitated towards something within the blue teal range as well as the orange yellow range. And I had each play bar emit a different color on either side. I shot all of these images on the Canon EOS R with the the RF 50mm 1.2 lens, and on the lens I had an additional Tiffin Black Promist one quarter strength filter. The Promist filter gave the lights a much more soft and glowy look to them, which allowed a lot of the highlights to bloom, and it also reduced some of the contrast in the images. I'll be releasing a video that does a little more of a deep dive on the Promist filters and exactly what they do for your photos, but for the time being, all you really need to know is that this filter works especially well for a lighting scenario like this. I thought it would be fun to make a cinemagraph with these lights as well. For those of you who don't know, a cinemagraph is basically a moving picture. It's, it's a hybrid between a photograph and a movie. Every cinemagraph has a certain element of movement in it, but most of the image is still. So for this example, I had Laura sit in front of our TV, and as I tripoded the camera and started to record, I adjusted the brightness level of the Hue lights as she sat still so that you saw this glowing pulsating effect in the background. These were so much fun to make and I had a blast using something in my own apartment that I never thought would work for a photo application. It was a cool way to take something that was ordinary in one regard and use it in an entirely different way. If you find yourself losing creative motivation at home right now, honestly, I totally understand where you're coming from. Some days are a lot harder than others and it's okay to not do anything. It's okay to just sit and to rest and to not feel like you have to keep bettering yourself during this time. But on days that are maybe better than others and you actually find a drive in you to make something, take a second look around the place that you live. You never know where you might accidentally stumble upon creative inspiration. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.